remake on the uh, original uh, video for the Proto Omniwing. Uh, some complained that it just was not a good view and I have to agree with that and I apologize that it's taken so long for me to get to this. So here's a uh, Proto Omniwing. I uh, came up with this design back in about 73 or 1974. Uh, been building the Proto Omni Wing and Omni Wing and the Advanced Omni Wings ever since. I think you'll find it a uh, fun build and a fun airplane to fly. Uh, take note uh, for the origami crowd or the origami purist, if you're offended by tape and scissors, turn your head and walk away now. <clears throat> Although I do love origami and appreciate the, uh, the work that they put into that, I like to use other materials and other techniques <clears throat> to really achieve the, the best flying aircraft that I can. Uh, another thing that's a little bit uh, out of the ordinary, uh, most paper airplanes, they start out and they do a fold this way. Mine, we start out and we do the fold this way. Now there's a reason for that. One, <clears throat> if you do that kind of fold, one, you either get something like this that is like your schoolyard uh, dart uh, or throw in this uh, classroom and try to hit the teacher as she's writing on the the chalkboard, please don't do that. I'm just saying don't do what I did when I was in grammar school. Or uh, something like this. Now <clears throat> these two designs, they're fine, they're paper airplanes, they're a lot of fun and some people make some extraordinary designs. In fact the current world distance holder uh, is something about on this scale in wingspan. Uh, but they're designed for a hard toss, gaining lots of altitude, and then establishing into a glide. And it does take some, uh, really quite some extraordinary design uh, ingenuity to get an aircraft to do that. Uh, the last guy that is currently now holding the distance record, whatever it is, is crazy distance. Uh, you know, he employed a uh, football quarterback to do the tossing. And uh, mine my designs are more of a glider. I like just to uh, have a glider that has a big a wing that has a bigger wingspan as you can see here or bigger wingspan. <clears throat> Thus you get more effective uh, uh, airfoil wings on your wingspan. Now these won't be a record distance holder but they do have an extremely good glide ratio and you can look at some of my other tutorials that goes into a little more depth about glide ratio and how that impacts uh, the flight of the aircraft. So let's go ahead and build us a Proto Omniwing. So we start out folding the paper in half and I encourage you all to be very exacting lining up the paper edge as with aircraft it is an exacting science even though we're working with paper you get something off just a sixteenth of an inch here or there and all of a sudden you got a wing that turns or uh, dives or doesn't fl do fly right the next thing we're going to do is going to make a small pinch right here at the halfway mark between here and here now to do that, rather than using a ruler to measure, I'm just simply going to fold this over and just barely going to crease the very end right there. Same thing here. Don't want the crease running all the way down. That will affect our uh, design later on. And now at that point, let me mark these so that you can see where I'm folding to. That's the center line and those are the quarter lines there. I'm going to fold these straight down. I'm going to make a dog ear there. And the same on this side. Those don't have to be perfect. Not, not rocket science yet. <clears throat> I'll let you know when we get into rocket science. 
actually we, we, we won't uh, and then I'm going to make a fold down to that center line and along the center crease and we fold over and then what I like to do rather than trying to do this because you're, you've got no guarantee that you're duplicating exactly the other half I like to fold this wing in half back fold it now I can fold this and copy that same angle that we did on the other wing half unfold get that crease back in the other way and now we're going to fold this tab down you got this point here and that point there we're just going to take it approximately right to there <clears throat> next fold is again right up here at the point and actually like to make a line because my eyes are kind of getting rough <clears throat> so I can see where I'm going and I line it up with the previous fold underneath and then back fold again and we'll duplicate that fold and unfold fold it back the other way again now a lot of paper in here you just kind of have to work it until it gives up and folds again now you see we're all lined up nice and even and we're ready for the next step the next step is we bring out the tape uh, I'd like to use a scotch magic brand <clears throat> it has a uh, good adherence and some flexibility which becomes more important when we're working with the omni wing this is the proto omni wing and i really recommend people build this before they go on to the omni wing as it is a uh, much easier build a uh, little bit less elegant fold to it than the uh, Omni wing and a little bit less glide ratio and sink rate but still it has its place okay so I've got the two wing halves taped now what I'm going to do fold it in half and then we're going to bring this down let me turn it this way so you can see now there's a whole lot of paper here so I, I stuff my fingernail in there and get that roll going otherwise it's really hard for it to get it to conform to this fold and then we're going to fold turn it over and simply do the same thing on this side again with my fingernail I'm getting that started and then matching up the fold okay that's pretty good even I open it up like a butterfly <clears throat> and now what we're going to do is cut off a little bit of this uh, back cap because as you see what we want to do is end up with a little bit of a uh, sweep on that trailing edge rather than just a straight across I like to come out about an inch from the tip there and then about an inch and a half to two inches it's, again not rocket science it'll work almost with a large variety of cuts and that's what's neat I like to change them up do something different and then I just make pretty much a rough straight cut towards that and there we have that okay this excess paper it's going to become the weight on the nose and what we want to do is kind of fold this up until we get kind of a, uh, a triangle and gosh there's a million ways to do this I do it different every time but you'll get the idea when I when you see I'm done uh, we're going to fold this 
like this. We want to end up with a triangle about the size of a, a dime. Of course, a dime is not a triangle. And then we, okay, like this. Now look, I almost got a perfect square. Not perfect, but we know if we take something close to a square and then hold it like that, it's roughly a triangle. Ugly little triangle. That's the worst one I've ever folded. But for the sake of it, all it is going to do is put weight on the nose as well as strengthen the wing in the middle. We don't want a flappy wing. So you'll see what I do is I get some tape on there like that. I've got the thing just far back from the nose that none of it's hanging over the leading edge. I press it down on that side and then on that side. Now some of this I make it look pretty easy but you'll find that it's it's kind of you gotta build a few of them and get the idea of uh, how to handle this but uh, all in all it's all for fun so and if you got time set and build one okay I put quite a bit of tape on just trying to clean it up a little bit and there you got your uh, proto omni wing um, let me go ahead and turn the camera around all right might still have some disturbed air out there but let's see how this thing goes here we go Let's do another flight. 